I haven't done a vlog for a while because but because uh, I've been busy but uh, I had some footage that I shot a while ago it's like an interview with myself it was about music therapy because I've just been to a place a charity place to leave some stuff and it's like drug rehabilitation people and they have a shop and they keep a house for people who are rehabilitating from drug addiction anyway I took stuff down there and I saw a sign which said uh, choose life sort of thing that had been done by some drug addict guy and uh, I liked it and then I made this uh, little interview uh, with myself about music about music therapy and then at the end I started going on about more about um, philosophy sort of object and subject things and then the video cut out because it was just cut out so that'll be part two anyway I'll leave you with this edit and this is vlog number 24 I haven't been doing so many vlogs because I've been busy doing other stuff with the music and that but I'll get back to them and I've also got plans to make some little films as well just with music and stuff so there's some music on this and I'll just get let go away We're just down here at the river it's now kind of spring now I'm in a t-shirt anyway the vlog is about music therapy sort of thing ad lib See you later. Yeah, music can be very good for uh, therapeutical reasons. Music is uh, definitely takes you away, takes you on a journey through your emotions. Forget about all those things that trouble you. Yeah, music is company accompanies us through our lives gives more meaning to life for sure the uh, beautiful thing of music the harmonies the melodies that take us away the rhythms the rhythm of the drum the rhythm of the little drum that takes you away so it's uh, lots of subtlety lots of different things you know what you can like in music you know that makes you move that makes you dance yeah i probably did get into music when i was younger when i first started getting into music because it was well it seemed like an adventure it was a total adventure it's seemed like a world opening up before one's eyes brilliant and learning hearing music and there's the whole vibe the whole vibe was something completely different like a totally new thing it was brilliant and it's a world within the world music is a world within our world you know it's not just the music it's something else or so you know there's something implicit within music <laughs> human thing the music you know music connects us to the greater deeper thing of the universe doesn't it music I think I once heard one guitarist saying that music was like a mistake in the universe it was like a, something had ripped open and come out of the, of the soul of the universe and that is music yeah it's very rich so yeah so it is good for us and it's good for people who have problems and uh, it can always connect to music and also i mean it's used a lot now also for uh, people with dementia for example and uh, alzheimer's and stuff they might be completely a bit confused when they hear some music that they can relate to from their youth or that they can relate to then they feel to they totally change you know what would the world be without music i mean even that tin can stuff that they have on the radio nowadays <laughs> but uh, yeah so Although it might not seem like it. Playing music can be quite difficult as well. You know, playing flamenco guitar is a very difficult thing to, to, to do. But uh, is, it th is that therapy? It's more like torture. Torture never stops. beautiful in a major key you know that can be like uh, music therapy for somebody who's uh, needs you know you need to feel cheerful or whatever but then music goes in so many different places doesn't it and, you know you have different sounds they have more dissonant sound you know like music for a, a nervous breakdown well, it's great to, music is great to participate you know it's a great way to be able to relate to the world you know for sure i got into music because of 
to play music because it was a way I found that I could relate to the world and made me sort of like happy, you know, have a relationship with the world through music is great, it's fantastic. But and then and the secondary thing, you know, as a as a working musician doing gigs, you think of other people as well and you're playing for them. You you want to participate and the listener is just as important as the as as the, the musician. Hey, and we're all participating together. So it's not like the the musician is the, the you know the therapist and the the audience is the patient. You know, shouldn't they really see things like that? You know, that's 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 the whole problem. You know, with the whole therapy thing is the the psychologists and the the psychotherapists they suffer from the same thing as as everyone else does. You know, as humans, as humans, this great pain of humanity. You know. important you know not to judge people and not to judge someone because of how they've been you know it's, we, all, we all do it though we all do it we see people as objects not as a subject we see them as objects and we can define and have an opinion about them but you know how far can you take that opinion how much can you make of people an object you know and that, that's what that's what's happened you know people have become an object and that's why you know, and then you can use them for your own you know objects are for using I take an object of my cup my guitar my cup for my coffee there are objects are things that are measurable that you can use to get a special to get something and we treat people like that we treat people as objects and we use them to get certain things you know? Slaves, slave labor for our egos. It's interesting. I found heard something the other day talking about you know how in, uh, in it was a couple of things actually you know like just over time. I mean there was since the nineteen fifties, since really the discovery of oil and oil boom and electronics and radio and TV and all this kind of thing in youth culture. You know, youth culture didn't exist before the nineteen fifties. I heard someone saying that. You know, they were saying that in the, you look at photos of young people in the 1911 and 1911 they just look like old people but smaller they dressed as the same you know <laughs> 